Please, Spirit, today we are demonstrating for our friends that come from a long ways. And thank you for the first breath of air that I had this morning. Thank you for the clouds, the rain, Mother Earth, all the animals, and all the trees, the land. You send us your blessings for today, Great Spirit. Oh. This is the uh, type of uh, it's got a red heart in it of uh, wood that we use. Can you bring me this? That's all right. My surname is uh, Gilbert Herrera, but in the Indian way, my grandfather who gave me the name. Redbird. For three generations I've been making drums. I also have taught my son, I have taught my uh, grandchildren, and especially uh, one of the main things that my grandfather said it was always to respect the forest, Mother Nature, all the animals, and especially uh, the Great Spirit for what he had given us. I've donated uh, drums to different tribes that can't afford the drum because the drum making, it was a lost art. It just gives me a great pleasure when, uh, you know, like the forest provides the wood for us, that I give something back in return. The spiritual significance on the drum is the uh, every tribe basically has the same aspect of the uh, drum. The drum is used to ground ourselves to Mother Nature, to ground ourselves to Mother Earth. And when playing the drum, it gives us the vibration of the drum to set some of our Indian uh, prayers or Indian dances to the Great Spirit. The drum is spiritually made when you feel good, when you're not tired. You have to put a lot of good spiritual and you can't do it when it's raining or when it's snowing, so it's got to be a beautiful day. Various types of wood are used, but the most, uh, the Native Americans are really happy with the aspen and the cotton because both uh, types of wood uh, or trees produce a very, very good sound on the drum maker. So uh, by the time we finish hollowing the drum, it is only about half an inch to three-eighths of an inch. And the thinner the drum, the better it's going to produce a better sound. Traditional drum, we can only go a dip in the, of a half an inch, depending on the hide. The hide, if it's real thin, then you know you can really stretch it on, on a thick drum. On a on a drum that's too thin, then what happens is after the, your your drum dries, then all that uh, power on the hide when it dries shrinks, it would crack your drum. Mm. So by knowing that you would. You're the only one that can tell the thickness of the drum. A long time ago, the Navajos are uh, known for their sheep. And they would bring uh, wool to trade with the Native Americans in different pueblos. So uh, a drumstick, a long time ago, the head of the, the uh, drumstick was made out of wool. And as we grow older in different ways, first it was the hair, the alpha the deer, then it was wool, and now it's fun. 
there is a, a saying in the Indian way that we beat the drum, we don't beat our kids. By listening to this drum here, you can tell which is the male side and which is the female side. This is a little deeper, and that's a little higher. And uh, usually, well, the way we warm up a drum, or they're done in the ceremonial ways, is they're taken outside. They're left outside for about half an hour to warm up the hide to give it a better tone because that really tightens up your drum. Yeah.